Good morning traders, welcome to Thursday's Phoenix Blue morning update. Uh, in a moment we'll be having a look at the charts as usual, um, but we'll start with a, a quick look at what happened or what was said in the overnight uh, Fed and Royal Bank of New Zealand statements. Starting with the FOMC statement, um, not a lot for traders there. Um, the key statement being gradual adjustments in the stance of monetary policy, being very much what's been said previously. No indication of when or the, the magnitude of further rate increases this year. Um, the response from the markets was very limited. The only thing we saw um, was new highs in gold. Um, which just emphasises the current risk-off scenario. The Royal Bank of New Zealand statement more interesting. The key comments to come out of this were a further depreciation in the exchange rate is appropriate and some further policy easing may be required over the coming year. This is exactly what you want to hear from a central bank when you're already bearish a currency. They're saying they feel they need the uh, currency to depreciate and they're willing to take action um, in order for that to happen. Um, we'll be taking a look at the New Zealand chart shortly um, to see what opportunities we might have to take advantage of that. Okay, going on to news announcements due today, 9.30, we've got the GBP Preliminary Gross Domestic Product. Uh, 1.30 this afternoon, core durable goods orders from the States, along with unemployment change from the States. Um, the most interesting one probably is overnight is going to be the Bank of Japan. They will be uh, issuing their outlook, financial outlook, uh, policy statement, and there will be a press conference. The reason it's interesting is that over many years, the um, J Japanese economy has been stagnant. Uh, lack of inflation has been a major problem and the Bank of Japan have aggressively um, sought to devalue the yen. In the current risk off environment, however, money is pouring into the yen and strengthening it. So it'll be interesting to see what the Bank of Japan um suggest they may do in this respect so um, we'll look to have a quick look at what happens there in the morning on uh, Friday's morning update okay right let's have a quick look at the markets and we'll start over in the in the uh, Asian markets with the Shanghai composite um, at the moment, and we're just a little bit earlier than some days, um, we've had another bearish day. Um, all the news coming out of China remains on the downside. That's a picture uh, with the 2015 lows. We can see exactly what's happened through the year. Um, this uh, market, unlike Western um, equities markets, is dominated by private investors. Um, who were encouraged by the Chinese government to invest heavily in the stock market, hence the rise. Um, but being private investors, um, panic sets in, hence the fall. Um, so we're now back below those 2015 levels. Okay, uh, next up, the US dollar one exchange rate. Again, nothing to see there. We're looking at that every day, as we've discussed before, waiting for something to happen. Over in Japan on the Nikkei, um, uh, a range bound day um, there. Nothing really to report, no reaction to um, the Fed announcements last night. Possibly a quiet day pending uh, the news announcements tomorrow morning for them. Okay, right over to the markets themselves. We'll start with the dollar index. Um, we've broken out of this triangle in yesterday's update. We talked about this triangle being retested through the news announcement, the FOMC statement, etc. That's exactly what we had. We had a test of that triangle. Um, price has been rejected and uh, um, the dollar is back to the upside Um we're looking for the hundred pound, sorry, the hundred dollar market up here um, as our next target in that market. Mentioned golf breed briefly. It had it made new highs last night on the news. Um, overnight, pulled back. 
um, we're looking for our adding entry here, looking for new highs with eventual targets up here as we've discussed before. So again, continually bullish on that, looking for add-ins on any reasonable pullback. Um, the Swissy, we're in this trade as you know. Um, at the moment we seem to be in a triangle formation on lower time frames, that's the four hour. Um, we're looking for a breakout in that respect. If you're intraday trading, you get the breakout, you get a close above and a retest of the triangle, be it long or short. Um, back to the daily chart. Um, missed an opportunity potentially for an entry there about uh, one point zero zero one two um however if we get the break from this triangle to the downside with orders in place at this level here um in confluence with the rising channel there so that's another trading opportunity that we may not see today but but over the forthcoming days we should see something there okay over to cad um we had our orders off last night pending the news announcements back on this morning clear levels at the big number 1.4 is our first level of interest uh, a fallback level in confluence with the trend line there um, so that's a market again we're looking to trade uh, sooner rather than later here we have the kiwi the new zealand us dollar pair um, as we said the uh, Bank of New Zealand, or the Royal Bank of New Zealand statement we had overnight, clearly bearish. Everything in this market points down. Uh, our next move will to be look for a break below uh, this level of support here, retest into that. And first targets we see around the uh, 0 0.6 thousand level here. So again, just to confirm that news last night, fantastic for our bearish bias on this pair. As you know, we only trade with biases. We already had a, a, a short bias on this. All it's done is reinforced that. Okay. Um, well, that covers really everything I've got to say today. Um, as you know, you can keep an eye on us on the uh, Instagram page at Phoenix Blue Trading, where you'll get live updates through the day. Um, any questions or if you'd like to know in more depth how we analyze the markets, how we enter trades, how we uh, conduct our money management, uh, email us at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Okay, uh, good to talk to you again and I'll look forward to speaking to you in the morning. Goodbye.